What's going on guys, it's J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Trials of Osiris rewards from last week on all three of my characters. Last week's Trials map was the Burning Shrine, the very first Trials map of year one and also the Trials map for many weeks during year one and this was the first time it appeared in year two but it appeared so many times in year one that I feel like I didn't really miss it too much because we've played this map so many times. But uh, still a pretty good week and we got some pretty decent stuff so let's get into it. Starting off with my first character on my Warlock from the Lighthouse Chest, we ended up getting an Inward Lamp and 6 Motes of Light. So my Inward Lamp Scout Rifle came in at 313 attack and it had the Hidden Hand perk on it so kind of an average drop on my first reward. And then going into my Trials Bounties on my Warlock, we ended up getting some Passage Coins, Motes of Light. Legendary marks for the silver tier we got unlucky with no exotic and for the gold tier We got the doctrine of passing auto rifle and it came in at 303 So the perk on it was rodeo pretty decent perk uh, Stability is always good. I think counterbalance is the best perk to get on it though if you're looking for a good uh, doctrine of passing and then moving on to my next character on my hunter from the Lighthouse Chest, we got a Reflection Sum and 6 Motes of Light, and this one came in at 313 once again. So kind of unlucky drop once again on that one. And then moving on to my Bounties on my Hunter, we got some more Passage Coins, Motes of Light, Legendary Marks, Blue Engrams, and for the Silver Tier, no Exotic once again. For the Gold Tier, I ended up getting the Sunlit Shell or the Ghost Shell for Trials at 306. Um, so, of course, you can't really get higher than 310 ghost shells from the gold tier. I don't think you can get anything over 310 from gold tier. So, once again, kind of unlucky on my gold tier and my silver tiers. And then finally, on my last character, on my Titan, from the Lighthouse Chest, we ended up getting a Telesto Exotic Fusion Rifle and a Doctrine of Passing at 313. My Doctrine of Passing came with Rangefinder as well. And I actually use a Rangefinder one currently. But I still think a counterbalance one can be really good as well just because it's super stable and allows you to shred people instantly because of the buff on auto rifles. So it's really solid. I suggest you guys trying out Doctrine of Passing. It's really good. I've been using it in Trials and in Crucible in general and it's pretty solid overall. And then going into my last set of bounties on my Titan. We got some Passage Coins, Motes of Light, Blue Engrams, Legendary Marks, all that stuff. From the Silver tier, we ended up getting no Exotic there, Unlucky once again. And for the Gold tier, I ended up getting the Glass Promontory Sniper Rifle, which is the Trials one. And it had Last Resort and Performance Bonus on it. Kind of, kind of decent. I still don't care for the Low Impact Snipers though. So I prefer like Thousand Yard Stare and other Snipers instead. But that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Hope you guys are having a great new year, start of 2016. We got some exciting stuff to come. Hopefully we got some announcements at the end of this month for anything new coming to Destiny for this year. And yeah, so we'll see about that and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!